very very good evening friends this side rahul wagan here as a group chief executive officer treasury consulting and also a venture capitalist before i start let me update you that our news desk is live and it is providing news to more than 150 members across the globe you have an option to take this either in the form of whatsapp or telegram and we are covering variety of the news the cost is rupees 260 per year which is precisely 3 us dollars or 5 singapore dollars more importantly and our video trainings audio trainings sheetal academy ott over the top platform edulearn platform and uh, penny stock training desk fno learning academy and everything is ready so you are welcome to whatsapp at 9818485155 in that regards i repeat plus 919898184819818485155 in that regards or the number i will share at the end of the video as well in this i have already told you that the tax havens in the world are predominantly categorized in three parts number 1 tax avoidance number 2 tax resident number 3 offshore status tax havens are divided into many forms as we speak the world is having 150 and plus tax havens many are in asia many are different parts of the globe many are big many are small example the leading are panama bahamas caribbean british virgin island western african islands and there are many to be honest today i would like to take an example of an organization hypothetically suppose there is an org organization called superman inc before i start the video let me take a disclaimer that in case god forbid there is a similar company that exist then this is purely a coincidence i checked on google and i got to know no such company exist so it is purely a coincidence they are having banking relationship with jppp bank and this bank is in new york you know now i'll explain you how exactly it works this company which is in manhattan i will not write it again again superman inc is having a this is i would say new york or manhattan whatever you say they will create a shell company here suppose they create a shell company in hong kong I know that many people feel that shell companies are the biggest fraud. <laughs> My apologies, sir. Shell companies, all shell companies are 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 not fraud. So sometimes shell companies are created for genuine purpose also, you know. But unfortunately, uh, many times the shell companies are created for non-genuine purpose also. According to FinCEN, I hope you heard about FinCEN. According to FinCEN, which is Financial Crime Enforcement Network, a body. you know the shell company is a company example they created a company in hong kong which is they mentioned as superman hong kong let it take a simple example this company having a mailing address now that mailing ma mailing address may be may be fictitious 
they definitely have very few assets fixtures furnitures are not very few and more importantly they have no business zero business now what superman and company do superman and company will create and that's really very easy provided you know how to handle this fake import export transactions so iet means let me write here import export transactions and they will route this import export transactions to their shell company which is in hong kong now this led to the low taxation you know more expenses low profits and so on and so forth but this is what in theory how practical it works This is known as shell smurfing. They floated a company in Hong Kong. They would be floating a similar kind of company in Panama. By the way, the cost is just one thousand dollars, sometimes lesser. they would be closer opening this in bvi they would be opening this in caribbean and they would be opening this in bahamas and they would be opening this with mauritius and they would be opening one important so that people can trust here you know how the scene would be this would be the scene this is new york based company original new york based company would do some transactions with singapore based company as two idiot people and they will do many transaction with their hong kong company so 1% of the transaction done here to make people fool and 99% of the transaction done here this hong kong tech company in turn route this to panama 10% of that they will route to panama 5% they will route here 25% they will route here and rest let me make that way Sixty percent they route here. Planning. Panama will route ninety percent of ten percent to Mauritius, and Panama will route rest ten percent of ten percent to BVI. And this cycle insists is in such a way, just like BVI will route. Hundred percent to Mauritius and Mauritius will route fifty percent to Caribbean and say rest fifty percent to Bahamas. They make such a beautiful placement which is called smurfing. I don't know. Many a times people don't want it to talk in that in that regard. This is called shell smurfing. Let me give you another uh, chart in that regards. Let me change the pen ink also.
So this is how it happens. This is called primary. P means primary. Primary shell company. PSC always means primary shell company. Smurfing layer one. Smurfing layer 2, Smurfing layer 3, Smurfing layer 4. In Smurfing layer 1, you have Panama, you have Bahamas, you have West Caribbean, you have African countries. In layer 2, you have Mauritius, you have Singapore, in layer 3, you have Europe and many such countries Estonia and so on so forth here but the biggest question is all these companies are interconnected with each other this connected with this 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 connected with this this connected with this take this connected with this this connected with this you know this connected with this this connected with this and this is called shell smurfing if you are thinking that shell smurfing is the most dangerous thing then you are mistaken because shelf smurfing is more potent than shell smurfing now in the next video we would be in the next part basically we would be covering about shelf companies let's take two shelf smurfing But first of all, let me explain the shelf companies. Unfortunately, many people still believe that shell and shelf companies are the same thing. Excuse me, they are not the same thing. They are completely different thing and they work in a little different manner. But unfortunately, regulators do not know that the more action happen in shelf companies than in shell companies. So there is a company called Hulk New York. I once again take indemnification. You know, by mistake, if this is a real company, then this is just, you know, this is just a coincidence. So we are choosing Superman and Hulk as a name so that it looks more interesting. Just a coincidence. Hulk New York is having three companies. Hulk New York, which is a parent company. Hulk Singapore, which is 100% only on subsidiaries. Hulk Hong Kong, which is again 100% wholly owned subsidiaries. Hulk Bahamas, BH means Bahamas. Somehow, Hulk, 
Hulk Singapore and Hulk Hong Kong are doing good business. Good clients, good revenue, cost and something like that. But somehow this entity is eight years old and not generating any revenue. Hulk, who is a financial services company, tried very hard, but somehow they are not getting any revenue from the Bahamas entity. They tried setting up a company and but by the way, this is the Bahamas regulator. And it is 100% legal company and all documentation is done. All documentation like tax returns, I would say, I would say the address proof, the company director, the local company director, everything is done, you know. So this is perfectly legal company can be traced on Reuters and all everywhere, Bloomberg everywhere and all. Now the question is that regulators are having an eye on Superman Inc. that he is doing some kind of money laundering. Superman Inc. finding it difficult to create the shelf smurfing. Superman Inc. contacted a partner in Hulk Inc. and Superman Inc. Hong Kong Shell Company will do a business directly with the they would do a business with Hulk Palmer's similarly there are many shelf companies created by other companies those who are created legally but somehow they are having some business related issue and this Hong Kong company will start trading with these companies directly by the time the regulators will get to know it would be too late as usual so how it happens now let me show you in the form of a chart now this is main shell company this male shell company is having a small bill is with one well established shelf company. They would have some business with a well established shelf company. Suppose this is in Hong Kong. This is in Bahamas. This is in London. This is in Canada. And finally, to make people fool, Singapore. It looks like that everything is legal. You are doing business in Hong Kong. So you are under HKMA, Hong Kong Monetary Authority, Bahamas, MAS, London, Canada and all. This is known as shelf smurfing. And shelf smurfing is more dangerous and difficult to locate than shell smurfing. But many people do not understand that because people feel that why there is a need to understand. Now, let us take the last step before we close. Whenever there is a company, suppose I'll take the same company. Superman Inc. This company is having one setup in tax haven, anyone Bahamas and all. State say Bahamas. 
then this company has done two kind of smurfing number one the shell smurfing and number two the shelf smurfing that is and it is difficult to track well this side rahul magan here and you know that treasury consulting is a big corporate if you have any question you can whatsapp me personally this is my number nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight if you have any questions about our news desk, anything, you're welcome to WhatsApp uh, us as this number. We will definitely reply you. Have a great time ahead. Talk soon. Thank you.